Um, hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Garvis and I am, as she said, a PhD student over in the Conservation Biology program. And my dissertation research is entitled Habitat Suitability Modeling of Benthic Habitats that are going to be impacted by sea level rise as well as climate change. So my study is located primarily in Apalachicola Bay, Florida. For those not familiar, this is located in the northwestern coast of Florida in the Gulf of Mexico. And what's kind of interesting about this bay is it has a lot of economically as well as ecologically important habitat such as seagrasses, oysters, salt marsh, and it also serves as very important marine turtle foraging grounds. So I am working in collaboration with a group of engineers known as the CHAMP Lab, and I know I'm not going to remember, so I have to read it to you. So CHAMP stands for Coastal Hydroscience Analysis, Modeling, and Predictive Simulations Laboratory, which is quite a mouthful. And what the CHAMP Lab is doing is they're creating this very fine-scale, uh, spatially explicit hydrodynamic model, which will be able to predict the changes in hydrodynamics of Apalachicola Bay under different sea level rise scenarios. So these different sea level rise scenarios are basically a low, medium, and high scenario. So we get kind of a, a range of changes that might occur. And where my research comes is, is what I want to do is take those parameters that they create and take those predictions and reclassify them in light of the environmental tolerances of benthic habitat, benthic habitat being just something that lives on the seafloor. So what I'm primarily interested in is seagrass. So I'm just going to take the known environmental tolerances of seagrass and reclassify these parameters. And what this is going to enable me to do is create these uh, predictive habitat suitability models like you see in this picture here. So in this picture, basically, I reclassified salinity and bathymetry based on what I know uh, seagrasses prefer. And this gives me this prediction where the green is where we're predicting seagrass to occur and the red is where we're predicting seagrass not to occur. And so I'll be able to match that to what's currently uh, in the field, obviously, which you see in that fourth picture, the actual current distribution of seagrass, as well as I'll be able to predict future changes in light of sea level rise. And so what we hope to do is make this information available to the public via these Google Earth viewers. This is a beta version of the viewer that's in development. And what we'd like is to see that serve not only coastal development and inform policy decision making in this area, but we'd also like to just have the general public become more knowledgeable about how climate change and sea level rise is going to impact their local area. And so with that, I want to make uh, a big thank you to the Boyd Lyon Memorial Fellowship for which uh, they are funding my dissertation research and I would not be here doing this. We're not for Boyd Lyon, so thank you very much to them. And thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, I can answer them over by my poster over here. Thank you.